it's an uncomfortable conversation that people aren't going to want to have, right? I know, but we, we got to talk about it because this guy has been such a lightning rod in, in Buffalo, both on and off the field. Um, talking about Jordan Poyer, he, you know, I, I came at it from a business perspective. I started. Hag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. I started sitting there going, listen, Von Miller just got paid. Mm -hmm. Diggs just got extended. And then he sees Edmonds and Oliver on the horizon. Yeah. He's in, he's caught between a rock and a hard place. And you know what, though? And people tend to forget that you get paid for what you're going to do in the NFL, not what you did. So was he underpaid? He was severely underpaid as a safety in what he'd done. But the, 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 the business decision is this. You still signed that contract that you came in with. And I think what the fact is, and people aren't probably aren't going to like this, and we're going to lose some subs for this, He's not going to replicate the level of production he's already given you in the past four years. I think, I think that's, that's what fair. they're talking about. And I think they, that's fair. But he's sitting there going, uh, there's all these contracts ahead of me, and they just paid all this guy. Mm -hmm. i got to try to get money now, and he's that's what he's doing. And he switched agencies, correct? Uh, agencies. Yeah, sure did. Now, Mike, sure, tell me if this is crazy or not. 30-year-old okay. safeties don't do well on the free agent market, regardless of what their name is, right? True story. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so that, but that's, that's the problem, right? He's on a team right now, and he is more valuable to Buffalo than he is to another organization. Yeah. And Buffalo, at Buffalo, unfortunately, they know that. Like They know that he's got the leverage here because he is an integral piece. They've been trying to integrate new safeties into this team for five years. They, they just constantly are bringing in safeties and nobody seems to outlast Hyden Poirier. But this is also not Jordan Poirier's first contract either. Like mm -hmm. they've restructured him a few times. Yeah. So it's not like he hasn't been paid. He just, I think he knows that this is the last swing that he's got, yeah. you know, because soon he's going to be a 30 year old safety on the free agent market. Uh, he's not going to lie. Can I put a little, a little uh, asterisk next to your, uh, your comparison for Mike, as far as the 30 year old safeties in the free agent market? Yeah. It's not like he's a center fielder because Im immediately when you said that, I just thought of Ed Reed. And not the same thing. No, yeah, yeah. I'm saying he's a banger. He just right. comes up and just hits. And people have seen the mileage that that has taken. It's tall. That's a good point. You yeah, know what I mean? Really so if he was like, if he if it was Hyde, thirty years old on the free agent market, I think it'd be a lot different. I think he probably could garner some, you know, because we we've seen it. The old adage is now, the guys, you have the cornerbacks that start to get up there in age. They make that little shift to safety because they understand the defense. Charles Woodson. They become, yeah. they, but right. they don't become bangers. Yeah, but they're not bangers. They're not that's bangers. Great they are center they're fielders. The ball. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I got that's you. It. This guy lines well, up. What height is dangerous as a center fielder? Oh. Dangerous. Yeah, very dangerous. That 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 pick, man. You know the one I'm talking about. Oh, that the one on Matt Jones. Jones. Woo. That was Woo. Good. The way your the way your system is set up, right? You need a safety that understands, like you said, the last five years. You need a safety that understands fits. Mm -hmm. He understands fits. Yeah. So guess what? I'm not a safety. I'm a linebacker. I'm putting my face in the hole. Right. And you're done. You can't. You have no run game. And by the way, I can tackle too. Well, and I'm I think fine. I think yeah. that's what's so fascinating, right? So imagine Hyde gets hurt. Let's just put it on the table, right? Hyde gets hurt. Are you asking Poyer to shift back to Hyde's responsibility, you are not. or are you trying to figure out what to do in that spot that Hyde vacated? No. With another, with some, with another town. You have, you will. You can't do that. If Hyde gets hurt, guys, don't hate me too much. If Hyde gets hurt, I'm putting Elam and Dane Jackson at the corners, and I'm moving Trey White back. That is crazy. That's I'm putting him at, at free safety. Who else are you to put back there? Well, Hamlin? I know he's only got one leg Johnson? right now, but <laughs> no, I'm not saying. I'm just saying, in a scheme fit, I think a White playing center field is the best option for the Bills. I don't like Hamlin there. As, I don't like him much as Hamlin. I don't like him as much as Johnson. From a Jets Who would you put in there? This is a great problem. Because <laughs> these guys are going to score like 45 a game. <laughs> you could put me at safety and you're still winning the game. <laughs> and I run like a 5 6 40 now, so. <laughs> well, you know, it's a, but it's an interesting point. Why pay Poyer when he can't replace Hyde? But right can Hyde right? replace Poyer? I think so. No. I think so. Mm -mm. No? Gets fits, doesn't want to hit like that. Oh, I think Hyde hits. 
He doesn't want to hit like that. I does hit. He doesn't want to hit like that. He's not asked to, though. You gotta understand. You're like, you can't hit me a lot of either. <laughs> well, right? Hype was, was a slot corner when he was yeah. in uh, when he was in Green Bay. That means you cover people. Right. That doesn't mean you could tackle. Well, he could. He got out. That's why he. Yeah. Had, yeah. Why he, what he think was a free agent? What? Right? I'm not here. <laughs> no, but I like I said, I don't think. But the same, you have the same problem as the fact that I don't think right now, like you said, that the most valuable place for Poirier to be is in Buffalo, because no one can right now, no one can replicate what he does. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I think that's the perspective he's coming at it. But they're saying, listen, how long? Could you do that? Right. Like we're already paying all this money. We're already there. Two years left. Oh, like, two years in the tank. Like, I was going to say. Yeah, like two I mean, years. Yeah. Like, I think two years yeah. twenty. Like, what do you think they're putting on the table for Poirier? Like, what do you think is it? I mean, he 10 wants ten million a year. I mean, he wants top fifteen money. Like, there's just no way around it. He wants top. 15. He is a top fifteen run stopper. He is. He is. He's and a top he, well, fifteen run stopper. But, but he's, his, this year he is. But in that division. Yeah. But one more how year. How is that? In this division, that's. Uh, well, you're critical gonna, in this division. Yeah, you got, you're going to pay a premium for that, right? You're going to pay a premium. For play it, pay it. You want six. You want five to six wins in this division. That's what you want, right? You know, you have to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me ask you this: Is it, is it the money or the length? Do you think they're having a problem with? Yes. <laughs> If, if, Rachel Bush, <laughs> if, if Rachel Bush's Twitter feed is any indication, it is both. And, and I guess that's sort of the problem here, right? Because Porter's been an integral part of Did the Did I just say money and friends. length and you mentioned Rachel Bush? <laughs> you sick bastard. In any case. Why are you the way that you are? <laughs> This whole issue with Poyer is a is a is a little bit of a time bomb in the locker room, mm-hmm. right? Because Poyer may be the first player who is really ground floor level, where they said, "You are, we're going to make a commitment to you long term." And then when he goes, "Okay, you made this commitment, and now we need to make it longer term," and they say, "Thanks, but no thanks," right? Yeah, yeah. And that's what you might see. I don't I don't think it will happen this year. I think Poyer will play out this year. And I don't think they can do much with this contract. To be honest with you, that's going to satisfy him. Right, because I think he does want two to three more years, and probably you know ten to twelve each, oh. which is big money for the responsibility you're asking him to play. Yeah, if he's, he's, a, 10, sign, he's a ten to twelve million dollar guy. This if you year. didn't sign Miller, you could have done that. This year he's a ten to twelve million dollar. You didn't guy. sign uh, how much was Crowder? Uh, oh, peanuts, peanuts, peanuts. Yeah. One yeah. for three or something like that. It was peanuts. It was, it was a stupid. It was I couldn't be, I I couldn't believe they got him for that money. They're gonna pay his direct TV bill. That's it. His car lease, and yeah. maybe they're going to give him a couple bucks of spending money. That's it. So yeah, it's not That's bad. It. Yeah, but they 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 did spend uh, a lot of money in this off season. Money that he probably feels like. Listen, I've been here, and I've been in the trenches doing all this stuff. Uh, I was here when we first broke the playoff drought. Right. Why am I not getting rewarded? And that's what that's where it seems like it's coming from. But it's like I, I you gave your money to Baltimore. <laughs> but <laughs> if you win a ring. Doesn't matter. Right? If you get a ring, now you hit the free agent market as a Super Bowl winning safety. Yeah. Does that replicate the value that you would have gotten in Buffalo? Because that's the gamble, might, right? If might. you're Jordan Poyer, it's either you get a contract extension or you win a Super Bowl and hit the free agent market. That that's the gamble. If you don't win a Super Bowl and you're a free agent. You're you're on the middle of the downslope of your career. Well, it depends Getting on the mileage and the responsibility. That because he he's between a rock and a hard place. Back as well. nine. That's it. Definitely totally back, yeah. back nine. Yeah, but here's the thing. Twenty nine. Uh, yeah. Twenty nine or thirty. Yeah. Because he got two three years left. Tops. Well, well here's the here's mean. the problem he has. He's been on a trajectory himself with the way he plays the game. He he's like the second or third most tackles on the team all the time. Here's his problem. Either he replicates what he does all the time, where people will say, oh, that's too much. He's 31. 31. Uh, he's got one or two years so left. Here's well, the, Hyde's 31, too. Well, here's the yeah, problem. He's a center fielder. Yeah. Here's, here's what I'm saying. If Poyer replicates the seasons that he's had in the past three years, mm-hmm. then people will say, oh, see, that mileage is just keeping going up. If he doesn't replicate what he's done in the previous years, like, oh, see, he's, he's slowing investment. down. He's a bad investor. Yeah. yeah. But that's the thing is you have to be pragmatic. Right? He has to be judicious with how he plays the game. Well, we've seen. No. You that's not, how, that's not how football players play, man. You're not judicious. Give him $10, 12000000 this year. Say, here you go, bud. 
Have fun. Is he under contract this year? Yeah. So we're fine. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your ring in the off season. Right, that's man. it. Like, well, you know, but that's what we've seen teams historically make mistakes doing is they try and keep the band together mm-hmm. to the detriment of their organization. <laughs> yeah. Right. And Buffalo has kept the band together. Yeah. Right? It's the same defense. Every, they keep adding and adding and adding. I'll tell you what. People absolutely love Tim Settle. There's so much coming out of OTAs about Tim Settle as a player and a person that this guy is just, he is like pumped to be here. So if you're looking for like a surprise impact player, Tim Settle is going to be the guy that most fans didn't know existed until this season. I think that the that one video of the kid, you remember the video of the kid that they had that was circulating the internet? No. They had the one kid. Uh, wearing a Tim Settle jersey, he had to be like four or five. Mm-hmm. He goes, "Hey, Mr. Tim, uh, good luck in Buffalo." I, 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 yeah, I remember seeing that. I love that. you I and I miss you. Good luck in Buffalo with the Bills. And it was, I was like, "Oh my God, send him back! Like, send him back to Washington. <laughs> I don't want to be a part of this." <laughs> Thanks, Tim, for your services. Like, go back. If you were, if you were a parent of a kid, uh, if you were a parent and you were a, a Commanders fan, you can't pull for the quarterback because they're doomed. They're, They're doomed. doomed. No. They are doomed. That FedEx field has claimed it's, so many souls. It's so many careers. Quarterbacks have lost whole careers on, uh, at that field. Sorry. All right, Kate, guys. That's right. <laughs> I've got another long body. Oh, my God. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry. So, Paul, we'll go to Paul, Mike, and me. Uh, you're the general manager. You are Brandon Bean. What are you doing with the Poyer situation? I, I might give him a two to three mil bump because you got the space to do it, but I'm not extending anything that I can't get out of next season. Right, this is contract year, right? Uh, I'll, I'll check. Next year. Okay. I'll check. Right. Go ahead, Mike. You're on contract, buddy. Just play. Tough up on a cup. <laughs> so, <laughs> enjoy your I want to see the contract real quick before I make my decision. Oh, uh, listen right, to this right. guy. Need, need enjoy your on. ring in the off season you're going to have when we hand them out at the, you know. Yeah. While well, you're playing for Jacksonville. <laughs> No. Oh God! Jacksonville just throwing money at the wall. Jesus. Jag- okay. Jaguars. Jaguars. <laughs> There's not even an H in there. Jacksonville Jaguars. Wires. 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 <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see here. A few moments later. <laughs> Ten million. And that's his market value. So that's if he were a free agent right now. Uh, current contract. Free agent in 2023. Okay, so he's under contract. This so here you go. So it's contract year. Yep. But I, look, at, look at that money. Base salary 5.6. So homie's not making. <laughs> His cap hits 10. Okay. But that's not the cash he's bringing in. No, not Because they restructured. So. I match his cap hit for two more years. I give him a two for 20 extension. With avoided third year to spread it out. That's Bean's thing right now. He voids the he's like that listen, void we know years. your time is done here. He void puts those void years in so he can spread the cap out all the time. I give him a, a two for twenty one, void out the third year. He just gave another half a million dollars. This guy throwing money around. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, buddy. Two for twenty a second ago. <laughs> no, I'm saying because I want to make it easier to you prorate over three years right. and seven million a year. You can afford four year that and he'd be happy with that. Right. You make you make uh fourteen of it guaranteed. I mean, it's a lot more money than like his base is five points. Dude, you're not. You're gonna be 33 when you're done. You're, yeah. you're done. I yeah. like him. I like him a lot. He's a great player. He's important to the team. But I'm not using that money. They make undersized linebackers every year, man. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take that money that I would pay him, and I'm gonna move to Bobby Wagner. Not anymore. You're not. not anymore. <laughs> trying to play safety. Why? What happened to Bobby? What I miss? Big, big contract. A big. Where do you go? Uh, uh, San. Bobby Wagner San Francisco. Did he go to San Francisco? He, we stayed in the division. Yeah, I think he went to San so Francisco. So he's making like million. Million. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, he's worth it. Bobby Wagner. No, he went to the he went to the Rams. Bobby Wagner That's from right. the linebacker of the Rams. Okay. Someone's got to explain the cap. To <laughs> <laughs> the we'll be back once we explain the cap. I don't understand the Rams. 